Hello and welcome to this new playlist on SAP and Power Platform here on the SAP on Azure YouTube channel. In this video, we want to take a closer look at the available connectors and options how to integrate SAP data with the Power Platform. As mentioned in our first video, there are multiple ways how you can connect from your Power Platform environment to your SAP systems. The different connectors that we have available on the Power Platform address different skill sets, I would say. So starting with the top one with our SAP GUI RPA functionality, which is actually Power Automate Desktop, um, it allows you to connect um, via user interfaces to your SAP system. So basically, this is something where you can automate clicks and, and maybe simple scripts to do um, work on your desktop. So potentially you could um, open up the SAP GUI. Um, you could enter the client, the username, the password, hit enter, um, click on the um, top level to enter a transaction, go to a certain DINPRO screen and fetch information or maybe input some information there on this specific DINPRO, DINPRO um, get some information out of this um, DINPRO screen, then log out of the SAP um, GUI again and then continue with the data that you retrieved from your SAP system in your Power Automate flow. This is something that everyone can do that actually has access to an SAP system. So whether you're star starting the SAP logon pad, whether you're opening an SAP Fiori screen, um, you can use Power Automate Desktop to automate these, um, these tasks. So whether you need to do repetitive tasks, always open up your SAP GUI, always open up um, certain transactions, that's exactly something that you can do with Power Automate Desktop. The beautiful thing is you can automate or trigger um, these flows also from a Power Automate cloud flow. So, so potentially you could have a Power App or a maybe an action like an incoming email or something like that where you then um, extract and um, take some information out of this email and then you um, pass on some of these variables to your Power Automate desktop flow which then opens up the SAP logon screen or the logon pad goes to a certain transaction and fills in so some information and then um, works really with the information that it just received from, from your email. Well, this is really powerful because it addresses um, every user, every business user, every every um, functional um, SAP consultant that knows how to work with an SAP system. Um, it is a UI-based automation. Um, when we go to the API-based integration, um, like for example, our certified SAP ERP connector, then um, I would typically say that the connectivity is a little more stable, um, but obviously you need to have more skill sets, non-knowledge um, about what's actually happening in your SAP system. So for example, with this ERP connector, we can um, fetch table information. We can trigger BAPIs or RFCs in the SAP system. But in order to do that, you obviously need to know the technical names of a table in the SAP system, or you need to know the structure or the name of the BAPI or the RFC and the structure of these settings. So typically what we see um, when, when, when customers are using the ERP connector is a combination of a low code user. So someone who is actually really using the power app and builds a beautiful application or someone who is in the process of creating a bot using the power virtual agent functionality and someone who's familiar with the SAP system, someone who knows how to work with an SAP system, someone who knows um, to go to SE37 on the SAP system and, and test a function module um, before they actually pass over the, the information um, to the Power Platform user so they can um, work hand in hand. In a lot of cases, it's really like this, that the SAP department at the customer, they are starting to create more and more of these connectors um, using the ERP connector or, or not connectors, but the actions um, that provide then information like account information, like a product material information, like purchase orders, business partner information, and via this ERP connector in a very um, uh, stricted way, basically. And then the Power Platform user just consumes this information and, and makes this available in their specific flows. It's also important that here, um, 
in, in this specific setup, um, in order to connect to the SAP system, we need to install a so-called on-premises data gateway along with the SAP.NET connector to really make sure that, first of all, we cross this firewall boundary that is typically in place. So when, when you obviously start your Power Apps or Power Automate or Power Virtual Agent, this runs in the internet. And, and obviously, we need to connect to your SAP system. That's where we have this on-premises data gateway. So there, there are some prerequisites, some installations that is required to get this work. Working, but then you can easily connect from your Power Platform to your SAP system. And, and similar like with the Power Automate desktop, we will take a closer look at what needs to be done to set this up, what are the prerequisites and, and how does it actually work, and also some troubleshooting um, um, topics in a, in a later video. The next one, which is obviously very popular um, in the SAP world, is the OData connection. So as we talked about in the previous video, um, SAP is providing a lot of OData services, a lot of APIs that are OData based. Um, and also if we look at other um, SAP products, so not only S4HANA or, or ECC, but also um, success factors, for example, there are a lot of scenarios that are OData um, based. And so what we can do is um, we can just use one of the actions like the HTTP connector to call or data services. Um, there are also multiple ways how we can do this, how we can improve the whole um, connectivity, how we can actually, again, cross this firewall boundary to the SAP system. But again, um, we, we will take a closer look at what is available, what is on the roadmap um, to, to simplify the way how from the Power Platform we can connect via OData to your SAP system. The last one, and that's actually the one that we also used in our very first video, is the custom connector. So similar like um, with the others, um, when, you, when you are an expert on the SAP system, one of the beautiful things is um, that you, you know the complexity on the SAP system, but now you can create these custom connectors on the Power Platform side so that the normal Power Platform user can just select one of these connectors, very much like what we did in the in the very first video, and then connect to the SAP system without actually needing to know all the technical details. So instead of um, requiring the end users to know the structure or to know the connectivity parameters to retrieve account information or to retrieve a material master information or a certain business partner. And the custom con connector can hide all of this complexity, including your authentication and all these um, security relevant processes and just expose um, the connector information to the end user so that the end user can just um, leverage this custom connector to connect to the SAP system. Now, these are the basic sets of connections. The, the beautiful thing is now, what do we do with these kinds of connectors? And one example, or actually two examples that I quickly want to touch in, and we'll go into much more details on those, is when we combine the connectivity options from the Power Platform with other services. And the first service that I want to highlight here is the Azure API management. So we see a lot of customers that are running their SAP system, um, maybe running their SAP systems on Azure, um, that are using an API management to protect their SAP system, to control and manage actually who has how much access to the SAP system. And, and with much access, I mean, how frequently. So maybe in the, uh, um, in the API management, they introduced some throttling mechanisms, some, some quota mechanisms, maybe even some um, API key handling. And that's actually, again, where the Power Platform works beautifully um, with something like the Azure API management, where we have this seamless integration of APIs on the API management side that can be exposed to the Power Platform via a so-called custom connector again, so that we really have this end-to-end -end flow that the user who works with the Power Platform can just connect to the custom connector, which then uses Azure API management to connect to the SAP system. And along the way, we can do token handling, we can do a single sign on um, mechanisms, we can do um, some other specific um, um, SAP tasks so, so that we really have this end-to-end -end, um, flow from the Power Platform to your SAP system. Now, obviously, a lot of customers that are using an SAP system are also using the SAP Business Technology Platform. So we see with a lot of customers that they already have the SAP Cloud Connector installed and that the SAP Cloud Connector is connected to the SAP Business Technology Platform. And maybe these customers are using SAP API management or are using the integration suite um, on the Business Technology Platform. Well, again, the beautiful thing is that 
the Power Platform can also connect to these services that are exposed via the Business Technology Platform. Maybe via a dedicated custom connector, maybe within via an HTTP connector. We can follow the very same steps that we talked about um, with Azure API Image or also with the other um, connectors and use them to connect via the Business Technology Platform, via existing controls via the SAP Cloud Connector to the SAP system and again have this end-to-end -end flow um, for connecting your Power Platform to an SAP system. So that's it for, for this video. Um, a quick overview of um, the connections, um, the, the opportunities or the, uh, the options that are available to connect your, your Power Platform to the SAP system. And again, in subsequent videos, we'll take a close look at each of these connectors and really guide you through the steps that are required to set up this end-to-end -end integration from Power Platform to your SAP system.